but or communism. My, my argument was <laughs> okay. Actually, the question is uh, very small groups on the politics of the federation. How the federation happens? If it's federation, how is the structure, different structure owned, for example, by whom and what? That's exactly. You don't need to own it if you affiliate with other other peers, <coughs> right? But the peers get together and say, we've had an idea and we agree with each other. Yeah. And well, you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it depends when you're federating, depends what the, what, where, which level you're federating at. But I assume what we're federating at is the, the organisation who's in control, the trusted organisation that is going to be maintaining the, the, federation the, the system that federates with that. other systems. So if we federate together, we can say, oh yes, well, I know, how, what's your name? Hello, Michael. I believe you're a human. Yeah. He's part of my human. I'm actually with the Star Wars Federation. 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 For, on behalf of the users, so the users go into one one organisation, one organisation, one organisation, and the organisations talk to each other on a federated model, and and it apparently looks like peer to peer. But the, you need the trusted um, yeah. blobs, communities, communities. Exactly. Yeah, so peer to peer is just very individualist. Yeah, so they don't want to form communities. The privacy of the individual node will be uh, protected within a federation. This is on like hiding a tree in the forest. If everyone's peer-to-peer -peer and equal, there's no need for privacy because we're exactly the same. Right? Sure, that's all all the difference between uh, societies and groups usually goes in small clusters that defend their microcultures. Mm. If you don't have an architecture which defends a microculture, whether it be your sexual orientation, whether it be your preference for baked beans, right, you don't get the diversity of individuality which requires the privacy for protection. It's not either or all, but if you miss out on the federated architecture of small groups, you destroy a huge, huge amount of the diversity, which is the bedrock of society. Okay, but I can answer that because a federated system is just a peer-to-peer -peer system at a higher level. Exactly. Okay. Come and join us. Yeah. So, yeah. so there is a one. Yeah. It's a peer-to-peer -peer system that's the most important. Because the peer-to-peer -peer system you... englobes the federated. Yes. And, and, that, and so the peer-to-peer -peer system allows individual to individual, group to group, peer-to-peer. Yeah. -peer, so, yeah, so, exactly. so, yeah. so, so it's just a more general yeah. thing. And I'm interested in getting the bigger space for Let's make it a dialectic. <laughs> it's a dialectic. We, we've got this. It's got to be that. Or it's got to no, be no, 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 it's not. They're both no, sides of the because because one is inside the other. They're a subset of, 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 of which, no, my no, dialectic. No. Yeah. Yeah. What, what if I don't trust any of the organizations to communicate with another peer with whom I want to communicate private? Yeah. Only peer to peer infrastructure yeah. will give me yeah. the possibility yeah. to do that. Yeah, Federated sits within peer to peer. So you're ganging up in a big group against all the peers to make a part of a big federation. The architecture of small groups. The point here is just like, you can do anything with mass, but it lacks the architecture of small groups. No, 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 it's explicit to the What's the smallest thing of architecture? Are they all on the same side? Have you got reputation or whatever to make sure that everyone is working together for mutual benefit, or are you assuming that somehow because you're in the same you're together and actually some people are against others? It's not compulsory fed it's not compulsory affiliation. It's federation. So an anarchist collective lets people join and leave without coercing them into being you know, you're you're on our side of the wall. Don't go over there. Whereas if you trust everybody else enough and you're in the, some other group to allow them into the bosom and why would you build only one wall? Because the internet permeates through everything, so we don't have to have single fences. Let's not have a border between separate people. Let's have a small <laughs> merge together, like a big organism. Market and then we can still be federate. Okay. Market economies <laughs> appear to be. It really depends. Uh, uh, forest, jungles, anything with yes. diversity is federated. Be the mycelium. It's, that's, it's actually trees. an unanswerable question, because you really need to analyze at what level you're federating, what level you're being So let's all stand in the middle. And, and so, okay. therefore, I, I rule it. Can we, can we move to the next question, which is connected, which is, can peer-to-peer -peer communities scale to the size of a country? Yes? No. Peer-to-peer Which country? Which country? I'm failing. What do you mean in terms of
terms of number of people or yeah. in terms of being well, geographically constrained? No, in terms of like being able to coordinate themselves properly when they actually have like a big scale community. So they become better to them. You mean like Wikipedia? <laughs> you mean like the Spanish Civil War? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the Ukrainian Arabs? Isn't war. that the concept? Yeah, you guys become too big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you well, we'll get your problem, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. People know about violence. No, it's mainly about the, the scale. The like, can peer to peer communities scale. Can't forget about the countryside. It's just like, like a size. village size. Only in you can be big. If you have more than 150 people I in the village, you need police. The web is very yeah. large. Yeah. 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 Be one of our police people. That's not peer to peer. That's hierarchy. Five million. A police agent yeah, is not a pitch, right? Sorry? If you're 100 people, 150 people in a the village, then you're all peers. You don't need police agents. If there's more than 150, you start needing a policeman who is no longer a peer. Yeah, it depends. Are you talking about the people, how, representative how, people in this room, or like the wider demographics of society? And With how this much room, are, you, are you emphasizing <laughs> on can? Well, can. 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 So it's a concept. It's a concept. What's the definition of peer as her equal? Well, it's 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 Right. Robert Peel's definition of the police for the British mm -hmm. was that the police were peers uh, with society. Yes. The people are the police, <laughs> the police are the people. It's one of the seven rules of policing that people I think like it's that. a very English, English mentality because, because that, uh, in the French way we don't see it like that at all. <laughs> Do people know about viable systems? Can which is, which addresses exactly this, this issue. Local autonomy but with coordination at various scales. Yes, yeah. please. So you have local local groups, you have regional groups, each one being autonomous, yet the vital system shows ways of coordinating it um, so that there is no authority, no hierarchy. So, so I, I would like to scale. make a quick and, and there's and no more countries. So here is like the people that <laughs> no more that this is how uh, peer to peer community can scale. And now I would like to say to change the question into can non federated peer to peer community scale? Everyone's an individual in the market. They can uh, trade with each other peer to peer, no problem on a global scale. So, are you, yeah, that, can I ask? Does that mean that um, in order to get, I, I, um, I think I haven't got it. If you can define federated, yeah. I can answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> so if each if each village sends a representative. I need to see It's a peer to peer architecture at the small group level. I have an answer. It's really simple by example. Right. The World Wide Web is a global distributed system. It's a peer to peer system with servers hooking into linking pages from, from other pages to other pages. A very, very basic system. Yeah, but it's a peer to peer system. No, it's still a peer to peer system. There's some really big actors that are federated, like Facebook and Google Plus. These are federated actors. But the whole system is peer-to-peer. -peer and I, is I, I think the problem is not the technical one, but the social one and governance one. Like, who defines the rules of uh, a peer-to-peer -peer system that is not federated, that is, uh, who defines the rules and how it operates, actually? You need how can you trust it? More equal than the other people. Uh, 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 yes, I think exactly. confusing the concept. The, the state concept is a different concept, and the uh, archi internet architecture, let's say, peer-to-peer, uh, relationship is a different mm. concept. Yes, I think yes, yes. Uh, uh, those two concepts do not uh, match because uh, uh, internet is defined by this uh, protocol architectures mm. and uh, the society or the state is defined by different architectures. So uh, you're trying to mix two concepts that do not uh, mix uh, easily. You, you cannot have a state building uh, based on the internet. Yeah, I mean, I uh, this, this is... Uh, uh, on the technology. No, no, I think it's, it's confusing because yes. uh, uh, state uh, architectures are hierarchical, hierarchical by nature, uh, where the internet architectures, uh, on a technical level at least, are distributed by nature. So there's, these are two different, uh, totally different concepts. Uh, they, they just give rules. Of course. For the peers to organize. Yes, but so this uh, is similar. Uh, uh, no, like in no. one case, uh, you can uh, break the rules, and in uh, the other case, you can't. Uh, talk uh, about people. Uh, uh, in the internet, you have a place. technical definition. Uh, on the state, you have a social. I mean, uh, the, the bonding is social, not technical. And maybe sometimes we think of always federation to be uh, uh, top down, but uh, I, I believe being 
uh, bottom-up federation and based on a, a very fractal because a, a, two, a two big group as a natural do with our cells and our organs, uh, it's organized, but from, from the root, not because we are really used to make federation from the top. It's not, is it federation if it's from the top? Isn't that sub domination? Yeah. What, I think if it's from the top, it's domination, and if it's a, you know, yeah, that's federation. As you define the world, yes. Okay. Okay, let's, let's finish with the last question, which is most controversial one. Um, are machines progressively replacing all humans' functions? <laughs> are machines progressively replacing all humans' functions? Especially feelings. So yes. <laughs> no. no, no. Yeah. I don't know. Emulation of humanity, but you can't be human as a machine. Yes, like a cat is a cat, a human is a human, a machine is a machine. We're more than that. So this is just about how you function. Functioning is functioning is about work. If my girlfriend tells me. I love how you function. I'm going to slap her in the face. <laughs> I don't want, it's not about humans. It's about working. And the working will done by my machine. Okay, so we can all. But that's not all the all human function. Is the working. That's how I understood the question. No, all the human functions. Functions. No, no, much more Humans function comprising whatever you can think. All activities, all activities. Like hard AI, hard artificial intelligence will eventually replace human activities in the world. Well, I, I think if you just look at the graph, I saw, uh, this guy was saying that you look at the graph, all the things that machines are replacing, we, we keep on building bits into us, you know, and it's, just, it's, it's the natural tendency of humans to want to get machines to replace us. <laughs> so you just look at the graph, and it's not whether I want it or not, it's just that that's what tends to happen, so you take the, you take the logical conclusion of that. Also, machines will define <laughs> what human functions are, and then they're going to replace us. So humans are already automatized systems of cellular, all the uh, cellular systems that are federated into big, bigger systems. So they're already automatized. And so any kind of technology that comes will just be enhancements of this system. So really what's happening is that you're enhancing human, the human automata with new automata like we've been doing for about 10,000, a yeah. million years. Yeah. We started with rocks and then yeah. writing and then all these different tools. So really it's just a fusion and extension of what's been happening. So right? we create so our tools, therefore our tools create us. Exactly. Okay. 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 <laughs> 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 Please convince me. I don't feel comfortable here. <laughs> <laughs> you convince me. Okay. The question created is society, you just, which is not driven you're in by the right place because you which is driven by human beings and the needs of the planet. <laughs> People will this choose truth, to do lots of things. And not use machines. Yeah. Machine, there yes. will be people who choose, not money which chooses. Yeah. The question is why are people so adamant about their functions? It's like, just relax, let your functions be replaced by machines and just enjoy yeah. it. I resent the fact that all you other monkeys have are having functions. the experience of being a person, and that means I don't have one. You can have sex even, if, even if it doesn't have any functions. Sex is overrated. 60s thing. <laughs> <laughs> what, when you're in your 60s? Yeah, no, no, it's your 60s or when you're in your 60s. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting to the being in your 60s. Do machines shout louder for us? 
Sorry? Do machines shout louder for us? Yes. Okay, then I want a machine right here. <laughs> I think, in a way, more we are giving power to the machine, more we are losing our power. Or maybe the step it would be to include what we are t uh, creating in this machine inside of us, and not needing any more uh, physical internet, but uh, being able, as our aboriginals that do, to uh, connect uh, without a machine. However, however, the, every time the machine takes a part of us, there is no more need for humans to accommodate and make sure that there is sustainability around the machines. It's not as straightforward. That's why I'm not yeah, there. But I think we could do because both. Because you can see now, uh, I don't know, I was looking at what people are doing on the internet and what, what people are doing physically. There's a really importance of having a very good balance between Sure. But it's the concept of creativity as well. So, what was it in the conference on the weekend? Uh, are we programming or are we being programmed? So, in that concept, everything is a machine. But if human beings understand, like the maths and the 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 full science of the global planetary machine that we're on, then we can be creative participants or leaders in that process. But if we just set, reject the technology and reject this alien life force of uh, brutal mechanical processes and, and hang out on the beach, we will become programmed by yeah, yeah. the forces yeah. and we will be dehumanized most that yeah. way. The problem is it's too late actually, we're on this, we're on this uh, race and we've got, all of us have got to actually get to the point where we leapfrog the, the, the other humdrummers so that we can divert them. My camera, it can experience the pop concert for me, so I don't have to. Oh, I'm holding it up, and no one else can see, because they've got cameras down there too. So once upon a time, God, however, God created man, and now however, man is creating God. the concept is creating a more creative concept for them to sent decent, no, to sensitize you even more. I don't know if you have been looking at um, I can't remember his name. One of the artists that um, they, they had a big concert and they want they needed to. I can't remember his name, sorry. And they needed to have the audiences really affected. So they had to think really outside the board. So what they've done, they created these huge walls. And what they've done, because audiences couldn't see the singers, so they threw all these walls towards them and they put, and put some lights inside of them. So that became really magical. So there's, our creativity is really pushed beyond the means of now. And we need to really think what can really keep people at, um, attention with us as performers. But not think that it has to be done in the way that we always used to do use our tools. So don't use everything like a hammer. So you need artists. And also yeah. we can have electric free festivals too. Um, so to conclude, <laughs> my, my take on this that uh, I took from the conference is that uh, uh, humans can create machines, but machines can hardly create humans. Yeah, Until yeah. now. Machines can create better humans. So we can, we can keep discussing that on the coming hack, um, I hope. I think it, we're closer to the other way around. We're much closer to the uh, machines being able to do uh, reproduce biology than we are able to produce artificial intelligence. <laughs> so, uh, well, I mean, just from incubators to uh, in vitro fertilization to cell culture to 3D printing, mm -hmm. all of that technology is way more advanced than our AI. But our AIs can already do capture detection better than us. So yeah, we, we, don't need, we don't need AIs to worry about. We already have machines running society. Yeah. Yes, they wear suits. But they <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is, who is, the, the, who is uh, putting the limits or who is defining what is the AI? It's, it's so this is the it's question. Because when you're talking about AI, yeah, they can do uh, all the algorithm uh, and everything you need. But there are other things that are quite about, sensual about that you this? can't get them to do it on our behalf. About this is unfair because uh, we yeah, think yeah, yeah. AI is something that machines cannot get. When they get, it's already not AI. It's a set of the art. So you humans are unfair with machines. No. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, sorry. Uh, let's move a bit. We have to put the chairs here to prepare for the presentation. I mean, to change the settings for representations to be a bit more unidirectional. So uh, we can. I mean, I ask for help, please. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. put the chair and change the light.